So next thing is we've got to install what the Gen 2 people call the Stage 3, which is kind of like a core system that can be used. It's like an immediate um, system, working system with some basic functionality. Um, it's got basic tools for compiling, which obviously we'll, we'll need for building Gen 2. So um, that's what this chapter is going to be about. So it's just saying about checking the date and time are correct because this can have implications if the date and time is wrong. It's going to be correct because we've booted up from Raspberry Pi. It keeps the time correct. So I'm happy with that. Don't need to do anything else. If you do need to change, check it or change it for any reason, it gives you some options here, either setting it automatically with NTPD or manually. But as I say, if you've booted from Raspberry Pi, there's no need. Now it's about choosing a, a stage tarball multi-lib which gives you 32-bit and 64-bit and a pure 64-bit. So I'll be targeting the pure 64-bit. Um, as far as I know that's what's available. Um, we'll see when we get in there to download it. So the first thing we need to do is to CD into the MNT Gen 2 directory that we've just created and where we've just mounted the um, partition. Okay, and if we just look in there, there's nothing in there except for lost and found, which is what you expect on a brand new partition. Now it gives various ways of downloading the stage three. Um, you can do it in the terminal, you can do it via wget and the terminal and links, or one of the two links. Um, there's chances are we might not have either of these links, so I'm just going to download it in the browser. So I'm going to load up this link here. And what we want to find, you can see it's got AMD64 here. What we want is the ARM64. So you can see they've got, although well, there's no handbook for the ARM64, they have got um, images for um, ARM64. Uh, what's the, oh yes, yeah, jump down here, sorry, it's at the bottom. So you can see there's two here, OpenRC and SystemD. So I'll be following the OpenRC because that's that's what I prefer. Obviously, if you're using SystemD, the installation is going to be slightly different. Um, I think you'll have a little bit more to do. It's a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to choose the OpenRC. So I'm going to click on that. Right, it's downloading it somewhere. Let's see if it yeah, has shown folder. So we'll just wait for that to download. Now it's 170 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long. It's about two minutes by the looks of it. So I'll just wait for that to complete. Okay, so that's finished downloading. There's also some signatures here you might want to um, download, so I'll click on that. Um, and okay, so it's taking me to this. Uh, let's go to that one there. Let's just check the name of the file. 
Yeah, so basically I just want to download Let's just download where it wants to. Yep. Just download these three, and then there's some various verifications you can do to validate that the download was correct, which we'll see down here. So the first thing I need to do is to copy these files, which have been downloaded as a Pi user, and copy them into the Gen2 directory. So copy all of them. Yeah. In fact, I've moved them, so that's, that's probably even better. Um, and then I'll change the ownership just um, for security reasons. Change them to the roots. And there you go. They're all owned by root now. So there's various ways of checking or validating these. Um, I won't go through them all. Um, basically, what you need to do is to change this release to the release number that we've got. In fact, it's not AMD, it's ARM. This is what you've got to be very, very careful now um, to make sure that um, we are dealing with the correct architecture. So you can see there's a signature here. Um, and what we can do is to, I think it's this one here, cat that and just validate that number which is for a SHA-521. So you look down here, SHA-5, sorry, 521, 512. Here's the SHA-512 hash. You can see the digits match just by quickly looking at them. So as far as I'm concerned, that's okay. There's other methods for checking there and checking the signature. So the next thing we need to do is to unpack this file. So we copy this command here and it explains what the command uh, command does. So let's put that in. Looks like I might be able to leave that as a star, but not to worry. By putting that file name in, the whole file name, there's no ambiguity then. Okay, so that's done. So they make use of Nano as the editor. I prefer Vi, although the Vi on Raspberry Pi is a little bit um, cut back, so it will catch me out, but Nano catches me out as well every time. Um, in fact, I probably will use it. Uh, if we edit this make.conf, if you've not used Gen 2 before, it's the main... Um, config file with global settings and what I'm going to do here is to change this common flags uh, variable which allows us to tune the um, compilation parameters i.e. The, the compiler uh, to um, affect how the programs are built um, and things make it tunable to improve the performance uh, and two of the main ones are to specify specifically which chip we're using, uh, which version of the um, Cortex 87.2 we're using and so on um, of this ARM V8. Uh, just so that it's like hints to the compiler so it knows what it can compile to. So the first one we've got is March minus March <laughs> equals ARM V8 dash A and then plus CRC because the Raspberry Pi's ARM chip has got or ARM technology has got CRC capability as well as SIMD capability so that's the name of the architecture we then got minus M tune and we tell it here that it's specifically a Cortex A72 And then from what I've read, this option, this next option, F tree vectorize tells the compiler to 
um, or somehow it lets it know there's more registers available to compile with which can improve performance. And lastly, um, although I believe the optimization level 02 defaults using frame pointer, I've also read that sometimes it isn't always turned on, so by specifying it explicitly, um, can ensure it's turned on all times. So you can see the optimization is level 02, so that's what was already there. Gen 2 are obviously happy with us using that. Pipe means that temporary files are um, created in memory effectively rather than on the file system, so it improves performance a bit. And then with these are the options I've just added March equals ARMv8 A plus CRC plus SIMD and dash mtune equals cortex dash a72 and then f3 uh, it's not going to show us all dash f3 vectorize and finally dash f omit frame pointer and as you can see these flags get copied to these other flags here Uh, so yeah, it's recording a macro and that's because I've tried to do button presses as if I was using um, Vi. So control X to quit. Yes, I do want to save it. Just press enter to overwrite the existing one. Now what we need to do is to get a hold of the kernel sources. Um, in fact, no, let's carry on as we are for the moment. So this just tells us what I've just explained about setting options. Um, yeah, let's add this in as well. Make opt is an option for specifying how many threads we want run in each job. So because we've got four cores, we can set this to um, minus J2, uh, J4, sorry. So I'll just paste that in, modify that to 4, and again save that. So basically this option gets sent to make each time it's used. 